Hi, I'm Zana, and welcome to another episode of the Elder Scrolls Online in chronological order. So, in the last episode, we were doing the quest line with the Prophet, although we don't have to call him Prophet anymore. We rescued Sai Sahan, and he kind of left us hanging at that point, saying that he will um, reach out to us whenever he knows more. Um, so when I logged in today, I quickly went ahead to town um, uh, and got my mount speed upgraded. And just to enter town, yeah, projection of Varen, just once this time, uh, showed up to tell me, hey, come and meet me here in the Harbridge. So that's where we're at right now. So let's see what they have to say. The quest is called a Valley of Blades, so I'm assuming we're going on a field trip. Hi guys. Shall we uh, talk to Cadwell? I understand you visited the Halls of Torment. Marvelous place, marvelous. I'm not a fan of the tortured screaming, but uh, otherwise it's quite lovely. Is it now? I see. Good to know. All right, Sai, talk to me. Honor and faith to you, my friend. We are nearly ready to depart. My lord Varen requested that Tharn and Snow Lily join us, for safety's sake. Though I have seen fewer places as tranquil as the Valley of Blades. So why do we need to go to the Valley of Blades? An old friend, Kasura, dwells there. Before I was captured, I placed an enchanted ring in her keeping. The ring is a key of sorts. Without it, we will not be able to open the secret chamber where the Amulet of Kings lies hidden. Okay, what's this about Kusura? She was my first mentor and instructor, a true master of blades. She still trains young swordsmen in the valley, though she deems worthy of her instruction. What she teach? Swordsmanship, but much more than that. Her teachings revolve around a trinity of body, blade, and brilliance. The sword singers of old were said to be masters of all three. Oh, look, there will be time for questions later. Are you ready to depart? He's already tired of my questions. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just trying I'll to get some content here. To hasten your journey. Thanks, Varen. Right, any day. Let's see. Do you smell the scent of burning embers in the air? Oh, we may be in for a treat if Kasura is teaching the firewalk. Uh, I don't really see the point in asking this. Like, I don't care if he shaved his head. Which way are we heading? The abbey is just down the path. We're fortunate that my lord Varen opened a portal for us. This landslide appears to have blocked the valley's only approach. Right, we could have caused it. I cannot say. I've never known these mountains to experience earthquakes. Strange. Alright, let's go. I'm sure nothing Strange suspicious will happen. These mountains. Memories of youth flood my mind. Each one bringing its own sorrow or its own smile. Oh, joy. We've been here less than five minutes and Sahan is already getting maudlin and weepy. <laughs> Shut up, Tharn. Don't let him get to you, Sai. Let him roll his eyes. Maybe he'll find a brain back there. Sir <laughs> often said that rudeness is a weak man's imitation of strength. She's wise beyond her years. You will like her, Snow Lily. Right, I just see a bunch of ruins. I do like the banter between this? these. The Abbey burns. Quickly, we must find Kasura. So much destruction. What could have done this? I'm afraid I've seen this before. Keep an eye skyward, Titanborn. Skyward? Alright. The banter between these people reminds me um, of when you played something like Dragon Age. And your followers are just having a good old time behind your back. Just sneering at each other. I absolutely adore it. Right, he said Skywards. Am I going to fight All is a dragon? Well. Mm. Yeah, it's in ruins, alright. And this must be Kasura. Sai Sahan! Intruders, cultists, they attacked the abbey. So many of my students have fallen. The abbey is in ruins, Kasura. How, how could they? Take 
gigantic beast. Like nothing I've ever seen. Cultists. They're opening rift to oblivion. Oh boy. Save your strength, Kasura. We will make them pay. I promise you. What do you think? Trap? It's only a trap if you don't know about it. I assume everything is a trap, therefore, so it's a challenge. Hmm. Smart ass. Okay, we got some sigils to destroy. Oh. Thor, come forth and destroy his enemies! Oh boy. It's Mana Marco. Okay. Uh, Sid, no, not talking. No. Sometimes it feels like these cultists really are worms. When you slice them to pieces, you just wind up with more of them. Yes. Thank you for your lovely insight. I just wanted to interact with the sigil instead. This is a problem with followers, and we're going to uh, see that a bit later when we actually get a follower of our own. Um, that whenever I try to interact with anything, like I want to harvest something or interact with the lore book, Leave I very often... Shut up, Mana Marco. I would very often interact with my follower instead and start a, um, start a chatting session with them. And that's not what I wanted. It gets very, very um, annoying. See, it, they will pay for the innocent lives they have taken. Yes, I see the word size harm, but my brain is not registering it. Sigil stone, that's the one. I, they also don't really give me a lot of space, do they? They're just hugging me very, very tightly. Like, I, I do like some personal space, if you don't mind. Hosts of oblivion, come forth and feast. Feast? I oh, don't know. No feasting. I interrupt that. Sigil stone. Got it in one go. Alright. The Titan returns. The Titan returns. Ah, Sai Sahan and company at last. My pet has been waiting for you. Oh. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, let's see. Is it strong? How many more of your friends must die, Sai Sahar? Where is the amulet of king? Oh. That line never gets old, does it? Where is the amulet of kings? I can hear that line in my sleep. I've heard it so many times. Oh, bye, Titan. Oh, nice, nice close with your face there. Yeah. All right, we beat the Titan. Well fought. Sai Sahan travels with worthy companions. Thanks. Are you injured? My injuries are not serious. What are a few more scars to an old warrior? Scars have the virtue of reminding us that our past is real. My students, in my home not fared half so well i'm glad to see you but curious why you are here uh we've come for the ring is it safe did you keep the ring safe we did not find the ring of stendar's mercy but now that the king of worms knows you are here it is only a matter of time before he launches another attack okay so get the ring and leave indeed atop the eastern stair is the secret entrance to the ancestral crypt the ring is within. All right, let's go. Follow me. I can Need manage. An we'll Please help this. the others. Why would a crypt need a secret entrance? It's a wonder there's an unplundered crypt in all of Skyrim. Huh. You Nords could learn a thing or two from the builders of Hammerfell. Perhaps Hammerfell could also teach Nibane the virtue of good manners. Ha! Huh, got him. <laughs> uh, these these three are amazing. Here we are. Watch your step as you descend. Okay, which one, sir? I can feel the presence of my ancestors whenever I come here. I am burdened with a great responsibility to honor their sacrifice and uphold their legacy. Oh, okay, so they're here. I, along with some of the most renowned sword singers who ever lived, we must tread carefully and with great respect. 
So why hide the ring here? We both thought it would be well protected in the Valley of Blades. The most gifted young swordsmasters of Hammerfell are invited to train with Kasura. The town was bristling with strength and steel before the Titans showed up. Okay, so how did Menomarka find out about this valley? I cannot say. Perhaps someone told him of my past. Perhaps he pried the memory from me during my time in the Halls of Torment. Either way, I am to blame for the valley's destruction. No one I love will be safe until Mana Marco has been dealt with. Yeah, okay, we'll stop him. And I shall need a proper weapon. Kasura said that my father's greatsword lies with the ring. It seems proper that I should wield it in his honor. Okay, let's go. Tread lightly. Few living have been permitted to walk among these honored dead. I mean, they are dead, right? It's alright. Right? Oh, I see a box. Any loot? Yeah. That was easy. Too easy. By the sword of my father, Nazir Atafsahan, I pledge myself to the destruction of Manamarko and the liberation of Tamriel from the tyranny of the god of schemes, Molag Baal. Okay, good speech. What now? What are we doing? Uh, it says talk to Kasura, so I'm guessing I need to just talk to you. The ring is yours. Yeah. Guard it well. I must return to my students to begin the long task of rebuilding. Uh, will you come with us? You don't need to come with us. Thank you. But I cannot leave the Valley of Blades. I must bury the dead and tend to the wounded. All right, well, I have to go with the ring, but maybe Sai Sahan can help. I knew you would lead me to the ring eventually. Uh -huh. Give it to me. Your presence defiles this place, Mena Marco. Give me the ring and I might spare your pathetic lives. We struck down your Titan and we'll strike you down soon enough. The Titan was a prelude of what's to come if you continue to defy me. Defy you? Your delusions of godhood are laughable, you ignominious corpse herder. Very well <laughs> then. I'll simply take the ring from your corpses. Blasphemy! How dare you raise the honor dead to fight uh -huh. your battle? The dead, in fact, do not stay dead. And they're tanky for a bunch of skeletons. Very tanky. Sai, look out. Oh. He's raising Rava. He's raising Rava. Okay. There, go and attack. Yeah. The next time you hide something from the most oh. powerful necromancer in all of Tamriel, you might reconsider hiding it in a bloody tomb. He's <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> He is not wrong. Abnathorn? Yeah, good idea. But, in all fairness, I don't think they could have known, right? I bet when they hit the ring, they didn't necessarily think that Manamarka would be the one coming after them. The We're still not done? My word! Okay. It is a lot of deaths. Ah! I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. I don't wanna die. Man out. That just occurred to me that I have actually not died yet. I don't plan on dying here either, that would be silly. That would be silly indeed. I'm I'm sure we'll die eventually. Rest in peace, honored dead. On this playthrough. Souls of my ancestors, I will avenge Manamarco's blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. Right. The ring is ours for the time being. 
Guard it well. Yeah, I'll guard it with my life. You must return to the Harbridge and give it to Lord Varen. It will remain safe in his keeping until it is time to travel to Sancrator. Lyris, Abner, and I will remain here to help Kasura bury the dead and tend to the injured. And how will I return? Lord Varen has been observing our progress. No, oh, has he? will open the portal for you to return. There it is. The top of the stairs. Go, quickly. Oh, I'll tell him what happened. So everyone is leaving? Um, is, is, is staying here? But if you had not arrived when you did, there would be nothing left to rebuild. Be safe in the coming days, my friends. I look forward to your return. Yeah, okay. The Abbey of Blades will rise from these ashes. If I survive the dark path we must walk, I will return to help Kasura shape a new generation of Blade Masters. A noble goal, Sai. Perhaps I'll join you. For now, we should see to the survivors. I can't believe it you even Abner Barnes is behind. And just when I thought I had you figured out. Huh. Alright then. Well, I'm on my own. So, it's a bit empty now, huh? In my mind's eye, I witnessed your battle with the worm cult and with the undead unsay abominations. Your mission was successful, was it not? Yeah, here's the ring. And by the way, the abbey was destroyed. I witnessed the titan's assault and sensed the deaths of many innocents. It is a great and terrible loss. Saisahan and the others will need time to aid Kasuna. I will contact you when they return and we will begin the journey to Sankator. Okay. Well, that... It just means that we have to walk into the city again to make the next quest pop up. <laughs> so let's just do exactly that. Walk out of here, grab our mount, go into the city, and let the next quest pop up. And uh, then I wonder what, what's what's in Sancrator? That's the next place we're going. Is that where the actual Amulet of Kings is? I'm sure Man and Marco will be waiting for us if that's the case. There we go. Vestige, meet yes. me at the harborage. We are ready to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, all right, there we are. All right, let's um, run back on my teeny tiny war legs. So with the Ring of Stendar we can go and get the Amulet of Kings, but I am sure that Manny Mark will be there as well. If he is so powerful, why did he allow Sai Sahan to escape? Like it's not as if we, it's, it's not as if we, um, I, I drew a blank there. <laughs> well, my mind was uh, was gone. It's early. Um, it, it's not as if we did some major, um, major amazing escape plot, right? We just kind of released his bounds and we took him with us. He would never allow Sai Sahan to escape like that. And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. And now we have a chance to make things right. Perhaps, but I wonder, will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. Okay, uh, tell me about Sancrator. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Sai Sahan hid the Amulet of Kings in the catacombs beneath the city. And where is this located? It is in the mountains of Calovia, the land of my youth. But I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. 
Speak to Sizerhan. He can answer your questions far more accurately than I. Mm, okay. All right, sir. Talk to me. The time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sankrator. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. The ages past. Sankrator was a place of light. But I fear that is no longer the case. We must be prepared for anything. Okay. Have you fully recovered from your wounds? I have been through much. But this body is tougher than the great hoax of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. Okay. What's the plan? My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sangrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also, a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. And how do we break it? The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the Ring of Stendar's Mercy should open the vault doors. Right, okay, so let's see if he got anything else to say about Sankrator. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sankrator, and so built her holy city there. But that was long ago. The city is a ruin now. It has become a dark place with areas best left undisturbed. Like what kind of areas? We should avoid the Crypt of Heroes. I saw enough angry dead there to fill nine lifetimes. Kasura and I barely escaped with our lives. We will enter through the inner courtyard and avoid it entirely. Now come. Time waits for no man. Crypt of Heroes. Alright. Let's go. There he goes, our portal maker. The portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. Alright, let's go. You could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Thorn. Up, Thorn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so the banter continues. They do make these quests more enjoyable with your companions like this. It, it really does remind me of Dragon Age. Uh, Inquisition specifically, I guess, because the banter was just so good. Oh, wow. Looking for an amulet, perhaps? In the Marco. How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every move? Yeah, I thought so. Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the Amulet of Kings? My master, Molag Bald, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the Amulet to betray Molag Bald. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Thang. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you will die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the Amulet of Kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! The uh -huh. Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines. You mean your ward of Stendar, God of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. Okay, so he plans to get the Amulet of Kings for himself so that he can then overthrow Moloch Ball. Yeah, and you think Moloch Ball isn't gonna hear about this? Yeah, doubt. When the Margo has been watching our every move, we led him right to the amulet. Yeah, and then we're going to disable all the wars, and once we have the amulet, he's probably gonna strike at us. But sure, we must reach the amulet of kings first. Mena Marco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. We may not be able to follow for some time. Okay, how do we get to the shrines? We must make our way to the inner courtyard. 
From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. All right, let's go. Less talking, more action. Sigh. Are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. Ha! <laughs> nice. That might very well be true. Okay. Ooh, the glowy stuff. The crypt of heroes. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. I am so curious, though. So yes, I am going to. I don't Wandering think I've actually a ever done this. What a necromancer is about. Your curiosity will be your undoing. Rise up, fallen heroes! Kill the intruder! Yeah, I don't actually think in all the times I've done the playthrough, I have actually went through here. So this is kind of cool and new for me as well. Okay, I got a bunch of skills that can be more. I'll take a look at that later. So where do we need to go? Like, here? Just across the water? Okay. Uh, I just want to loot. Let's go this here. I don't want to talk more. <laughs> I just want to loot. Okay, so this is, I guess, no exit at all. Sure, we need to go in here. Oh, I leveled up! Yay! Level 25. Hmm. Uh, do I want anything from this? I don't. So I'll just take something. Yes. Um, this is not really a an alternative alternative way of getting through something, right? Like, there is nothing we can do here. Like, this is not where we meant to go anyway. So it's just a little... extra... thing that you can go through. Just explore a little. Because this is where we actually need to go. So the entire Valley of Heroes was kind of pointless. Alright. Well, now I know. Oh, boy. <laughs> Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the, the amulet? amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Morlock Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child, you know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. Oh, Moloch Baal. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Moloch Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Oh, this is like... Oh, he's showing us what he's going to do. I like it when villains explain their entire plot to us. The name Molag Bar will be forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Oh, what's Manny up here? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there is no way you can um, out-scheme the god of schemes. I, I highly doubt that he's going to allow that. Moloch Ball will probably come for you. Mm. This is also a thank you. Thank you, Emily. Not like Minamarco was immortal. I think I 
would like him even less as a god. Probably. Right. Let's continue. Is this a portal back? Yeah, okay. We're not going back. We're going to continue. Mm. Oh. Please. A moment, my friends. I I must rest before we continue. Okay. Sai. Are you alright? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods I'll take his head off. Yeah. I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we'll let Sai take a little break. Apparently he needs it. And then I will call this episode right here as well. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.